All right. Oh yeah, Luna, you miss out on beating down Mithara and also stripping her. All the good things. Scrying on. Hashtag professional. I'm still wondering every time I explore this area, which didn't happen that often, it sounds like I'm doing it daily, um, why this door is locked? Who locked it? I mean, this one here is wide open. And I mean, if they found like the key for this one, were they just like too lazy to unlock this one? Am I overthinking things? I don't think so. Easy. Here we go. Uh, uh, I mean, we have to roll anything better than a net one. How hard can that be? Thank you, game, for not proving me wrong. Must lug my guts through this hell. Okay, Lavender, chill out. Okay. You know what the nice thing is? This, we have Fireball now. It will be fun. It will be glorious. But hey, I mean, they're not hostile yet. So, um, let's say hi. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. That doesn't Nothing. seem right. Must be reading it wrong. Sugar now Shukuk. Yes, he's fading and he's using a spell scroll. To you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. Or maybe he's just the too drunk. cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. One of the chosen free. Drow, true soul. As if there weren't enough of you. Excuse me. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. I also like that Lavender's like constantly sprinkled and splattered with blood. I mean, very in character, right? But hey. Um, I'm okay though. Better now. <laughs> I'm very glad to have cheered you up. <laughs> what a charming way to say hi, right? <laughs> ah, I could have made such a stupid joke with it. But I can't, I don't want you to win. <laughs> you you have to make it. Though I think written, it doesn't work as well as spoken. Anyway. How are you, Ethan? Uh, I'm pretty done from the week. I mean, I saw my new job, which is really nice, but also, like, great people. It seems really fun, but information-wise, it's like really overwhelming. So I spend most of the day today just like lying around and regenerating. Of course, today's a public holiday in Germany. So yeah, that was really nice. Mm, attacking Rexton will turn the whole camp hostile, so be careful. Oh, I didn't know that. Even if they don't use the war drums, how so? Also, do the Leviathan priest stuff for a nice pony. Mm, I was planning on that. Oh. I mean, paladin option? No, but I'll happily leave it a dead hop goblin for company. What profane ceremony is this? Guess you're a thick one. So I'll tell it straight. We're gonna make the carcass talk. Darling, Absolute you're failing at that. says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who artifact. took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Curious thing that both... 
Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Curious that both the Githyanki and also the Absolute refer to it as a weapon, right? Because, I mean, so far, it's just is, like, protecting. Levina studies the corpse. Was this a Mind Flayer that tortured him? This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature, even in death. But not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloids. He looks so alien. It would have would I even recognize the same one? Known you. By any means, then let that ceremony proceed. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command. Let's see how wrong it's going to go. Speak and so say wrong. sooth, Lucan Ock, I'll call that Shulkok Hank. The hideous corpse rises. Never saw that. Tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. We didn't even kill a my player, did we? Is it the one we killed mm, in the wreckage of the Nautiloid? Eleven and digs into Rexon's mind and controls the interrogation. Let's hope that works. Uh, guidance and inspiration. Come on. Ah. Good thing we have our boons. Good thing we have our companions here. Wow, 19. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's nice. voice, you ask. So easy to just control him. Who is the Absolute? Who is oh, the Absolute? Raxlin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flares arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's kind of tells a lot. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. I mean, we need to ask five questions, otherwise he's going to be able to just ask something else, right? What were you doing in Faerun? Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Gith Yankee dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Gith on the hunt. They know something. Suspicion nice. floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Plotting Absolutus and Githyanki against each other? I am all in for that. Okay, we definitely shouldn't ask who killed you, so here we go. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... The corpse collapses. Basically what we saw in the more. very beginning. No, no! I'm not done! I'm curious that he just got like three questions instead Riddles, of five, right? all of it! And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers. Probably no not the best spellcaster. No damned weapon! <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. Mm -hmm. She's sure. mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. 
Mm -hmm. I will tell that to Manthara. Consider it done. Praise the Absolute. No She's a little drowsy right now. Really is. I also fun. really love calling a drow drowsy. <laughs> We've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Yeah, and where many mind flies are around, usually there's a colony. We're usually also one of the other brains is residing. Not very friendly Nobody's fellas. Gonna push us okay, since you managed on set, if we attack Drorexlin, the whole camp's going to turn on us. I would say let's do everything else before that. Volo. Ah, our favorite, well, not our favorite bard, that's Ephira, our second favorite bard. Hmm. God looks a little intimidating. I mean, just look at the blade. The blade is almost as long as she's high. Hey there, Grubo. Don't go bothering my pigeon, he's mine. Grubo kind of sounds like a frog sound. Grubo. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be more serious today. <laughs> My brain isn't. Oh, does your bird have a name? Um, Peach. How creative. Uh, so I see. Do you have plans for this pigeon called Pitch? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? You know, I hate to see such a lovely creature in a cage. Hey, he don't mind. Keeps him safe from me mates. <laughs> Raids make him rabbit. As the symbol glows, power I'm just wondering that Volo's not in the background protesting. Authority. Uh, ew, we could try to read her thoughts. You know what? I think we never did that. I'm just curious about her thoughts. I'm also a little concerned, but I'm mostly curious. So let's go with that. Doodly doodly. Go on. DC9. She's really not the smartest cookie here. This Ranger better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Minthora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. I really like how all the storylines <laughs> right now go to Manthara, and Manthara is just like sleeping. <laughs> oh, withholding prisoners. Your boss won't be happy to hear that. What? Uh, all right. Minthara, don't give a cake what you think. Bah, just take him if you care so much. See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Daddy Fink. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Is she just going to leave or is she just going to stay here? Ah, nice. Hey, Volo. Ah, oh, good news. My friend, we can speak freely. I'm in no hurry to take my turn on that spit out front. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to unlock this cage? Uh, I'm glad, Luna, you're having so much fun with creating all those... Okay, that doesn't count, because I think it's a clever wordplay, and I want to say it. And I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> you know, you're making shard chores, right? So you're kind of making, like, shards. That sounded funny in my head. Oh well. Anyway, that doesn't count. It's also kind of weird that you can say you follow, right? I've read your work. Like, we, we we already talked. We do know you, and we also know how he ended up in this place. He had a stupid plan to go into a goblin camp full of goblins. What did he expect? How did you end up in this place? Curiosity, my friend. It didn't benefit the cat, but it's the foundation of my career. 
Though Curiosity I admit I've bar. hit something of an impasse. Please unlock my cell. You know, what career could possibly involve getting locked up by goblins? Polothamp Gedarm, realm renowned author, author, and tastemaker at your service. Tastemaker? Well? Alright, I'll get you out. Bless you, my friend. I'll wait nicely, but please don't tarry. Dude, what would he even do without me? You really have the devil's own luck. Aha! I knew I could count on you, my friend. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? You know, a fine mess you landed yourself in. How did you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful too. Not risky I'd be at happy all. to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. <gasps> what? You don't want to talk <laughs> inside the cage you were imprisoned in? Slip the yoke. How do you intend to do that exactly? You're in the middle of a goblin camp. An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. All right, dude, you have ten turns. Better run. All right, go to my camp. We we'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Smashing. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. I like Volo. He's so hilarious. It's really like a character where you're like, how did you survive? How are you still alive? Oh, well. And there's some sweet potatoes and some cabbage around here. I wonder if that was supposed as like food for Volo. Mmm, raw sweet potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. Don't get me wrong, sweet potatoes are awesome. I really love them. But raw? Eh. I don't know. I would assume you could actually eat them raw, but it doesn't sound like a fun experience. Dearest Elminster. Ah, it's Volo. I think it's his answer to Elminster being like, absolutely not, <laughs> regarding some book he wrote. Dearest Elminster, I, I must be brief as I'm under some dress, having become the esteemed guest of a rambunctious host of goblins. I would, of course, rather be under duress than under the feathered duvet, for danger and adversity are the very ink in my well, so this is good news indeed. As you well know, there's no word quicker and no tongue more silvered than that of your humble friend and scribe, and by regaling my would-be foes with tales of goblin heroics, I have become an indispensable member of their tribe, and namely the chronicler and bard. In this guise, I shall live among them a while so that I may observe their peculiar habits and rituals as closely as possible. All of this shall, of course, be documented in my next magnum opus, my life among the conquering host to be available at all good booksellers forthwith. An enticing extract, it is enclosed with this missive. I really like Volo's way to talk and write. It's hilarious. I implore you to speak the word so that adventurers and curiosity seekers across the sword coast beyond will be a quiver with anticipation of this life-extending and soul enriching guide. And with that, I must depart. I'm summoned to sing a ballad of my own composition, and the lady, yes, I call her lady, who delivered her summons is rather impatient, not to mention well armed. A truth you told, I believe she has some, dare I say, deep affection for me. I believe she has some, oh wait, as she calls me her pigeon and rarely strays from my sight. Perhaps there shall be a chapter in my book regarding goblin marriage rituals. Oh wow, Bolo, that is dedication. I bog at nothing in my quest for knowledge. Until we meet again, inform the world entire of the diligent research I'm undertaking, and ensure word of my upcoming masterwork is on the lips of every innkeep and sellsword, from Waterdeep to Beloa. Volo. Volo, 
I don't think Almonster likes you, to be honest. But good try. And you also kind of forgot your letter here. Raw potatoes will give you stomach pain, so no, don't eat raw potatoes. Mm. But potatoes and sweet potatoes are actually not closely related. They are very different plants. They're like of different plants. Ah, is it already order? God, I learned that at some point. Anyway, um, it's at least a different family of plants. But, um, so yeah, they are, like, in general, potato plants are, like, quite poisonous, sweet potato plants are not. So I'm not sure if eating, like, raw sweet potatoes would be safe or not. On receiving her grace, whose grace is the big question? Diagrams of bodies twisted into impossible shapes cover the pages while handwritten notes fill the margins. Be wary of your mortal limitations. While it is tempting to allow pain's ecstasies to sweep you away, particularly during a delicious bout of self-flagellation, broken bones hinder worship of our maiden of pain. With none other than Leviathar, maiden of pain. Lawful evil, not a very charming goddess. Like, goddess of pain, of torture, of self-harm. Instead, when the body is spent, focus on a whipping or perhaps nail removal. Ugh. Pliers or blade is recommended, to ensure Leviathar may forever revel in your agony, as is her right. Yeah, I guess... I feel it. This guy, hurting himself, surrounded by blood. Might be a Leviathar worshipper. The screed of the willing. Honesty, love, wrath. Many traits are divine. But there's only one that we possess and the gods do not. Pain. Our most holy mistress invites us to revel in that which makes us mortal. To embrace pain so she may look upon us and know we're truly living. But what is a life without the sting of agony, without the anguish of heartbreak? It is a life unlived, a life wasted, hiding from the joys of the world. I don't know if I would call pain the joys of the world, but hey. In Leviathan's name, I ask you to live, to dig your nails into your skin, and to know you're alive. To know that the greater the pain, the more exalted the life. Whether your pain comes from the claws, the scorch, or an ache in your soul, know that our maiden is watching over you. She sees your suffering, and she loves you for it. Yeah, I can tell you the same thing I said as during my first playthrough of BG3. I used, um, like a few disciples of Leviathar as the main antagonist in one of my, well, shorter campaigns, so it just was like a year. But yeah, it was pretty nice. I really enjoyed it. I think they make up for great villains. Uh, oh, well, you're such a fun character, and he was awesome in the first two BG games, same as Alan said to hear at Minsk. Oh, nice, I didn't know that. That's cool. Similar design also. So, Abdurak. The whip with like nine ends, like the split whip with the nine endings, is also like Leviathan's holy symbol. So Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. I guess we ah. don't have to make a check since we read Are all you the stuff. also here to assist with the prisoner? And quite some nice armor, quite revealing. What prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him, I believe. Oh boy. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? 
I don't know, I don't like pain in general, but hey. I mean, then again, we're talking about the Dark Urge. I think pain is like something they would also like revel in, right? Well, then again, as long as the story ends in death, it's all the same to me. It also sounds pretty much like dirt, right? Then, why are you beating yourself? <laughs> I realize this looks strange, but I assure you, and it is the most intimate form of worship. You see, pain is a loving thing. But trying to explain it to these goblins has proven... Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Ah, uh, that moment that a Leviathar cleric is nicer than, like, most of the druids makes you think. Hmm. The first line is actually the dirt one. Let's, let's go for it. Let's see how he reacts. I mean, he's worshipping Leviathar, so what's the worst that he could do? Probably going to appreciate it. I feel an endless nausea that only goes away when I'm killing. Do not be ashamed, child. Mm -hmm. What I see in your eyes, in your soul, is only natural. We've Yikes. all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Really not a fan of self-harm, but let's go with this. <laughs> Just to also have seen the scene one time. Astarin almost looks sad, doesn't he? And a little pained. I was wondering if the scene is Astarin and Shadowheart. Huh. I knew you were into this, Juniper. <laughs> Let yourself be whipped and you will get a nice bonus for the whole game. Also your dirt, and dirt will like it. It makes sense. It really makes sense. Wow, the Dutch specific lines are fascinating. They really are. And how would you do it? As the Maiden of Pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. You just want to beat my me up. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience it will be worth it. I promise. I must see this. Don't you dare say no. Why do you want to see this me beat Napastarion? Stock. Only the poorest of men need settle for the spectacle of their own gore. Okay, here we go. I saw your book. Let me try some of those techniques. My, an eager student indeed. Those are advanced devils. The mistress would approve. Indicate which instrument calls to you, and let us put it to work. Ah, oh God! We even have the choice. I'm not in a gentle mood. Use the dagger. A most excellent choice. Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. I thought we can make it. Simply face the wall and we can begin. Yeah. Face the wall and let us begin, dear Here one. Go. Yes, this will do nicely. Oh boy. Ah! 
The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Ah, now we have to make checks. You know, usually the class options kind of bypass checks. I'm actually not sure that would work here. Make a show of screaming at the top of your lungs. I kind of think we need to endure it. Because if we scream at the top of our, of our lungs, I think he's going to stop. Come on, a child can hit harder than that. Let's go with that and then we, if that doesn't work, we go with the constitution one. Uh, guidance, uh, body inspiration, just to be sure. Nah. Nah. Nothing needed. <laughs> you want more? As you wish, dear one. Would you have joined up with him if you'd known he'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian? I mean, I had my hopes. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful! Just wonderful! I think we can just continue with intimidation. I think it's very... Dirt and character. You look tired. Should I take over? Ah, see, we can do this. Well, not if we roll in at one. Ah, we have four inspirations. Here we go. That's nicer. <laughs> Wonderful. You want more? I'll give it to you. My, my. Who knew our friend had so much blood in them? Try not to lick your lips as you say that. <laughs> They're both really enjoying the show, aren't they? <sighs> That's it! Welcome the pain! Let it become part of you. Hit me as hard as you can, or I return the favor. Oh wow. We just need a five. Um, what is this? Anyway, it worked. <laughs> I hope that's a promise, dear one. This feels oddly sexual. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. <sighs> I could feel Theatar's pleasure with every slice of my dagger. I am proud to have served you this penance. Thank you. I enjoyed myself. Oh, as did I, dear one. No, Vieta herself that was an interesting found experience. your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Did he just sprinkle blood on us? And on a personal note, that was positively divine. Yeah, I think. Oh wow, Shadow Artist seem inspired. Looks like that's going to lose. Well, whatever you're into. <laughs> that was not what I expected to see today. Me neither, Sorian. Me neither. Oh well, uh, Leviathan's laugh. I always want to speak it as if there was like a TH. Pain is the part to clarity. When you have 30% hit points or less, you gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls and wisdom saving throws. Yes. Mm. Kind of cool. I mean, I don't really want to be sitting around at like 30% hit points, but when it comes, it sounds really nice. 
Oh, aren't you supposed to strip to get the Arden bonus? I think, yeah. Hmm, I mean, at least it didn't happen right now. Quick save. Gosh, when I started today, I was like, hmm, with a whole stream ahead of us, we're definitely going to, like, midstream, leave the goblin camp. And I mean, we've been on it for almost three hours, and we're still right in the middle of the goblin camp. 